Welcome back. The annual Crohn's and Colitis Gutsy Walk coming up on June the 5th. Here to talk to us about it today, we have Kevin Bailey sitting next to me. He is the honorary chair of this year's Gutsy Walk and Ernie Ware, who is the local chapter president. Welcome to the show, you guys. Thank you. Thanks yes. for having us. Most people have a general feel about what Crohn's and Colitis is all about. I was just educated on the break that not necessarily do they go together. Kevin, you have Crohn's, but yeah. not colitis. No. So I thought they always went together. They clearly don't. Tell me your situation. You've had it for 13 years. Yes. What's your story? Uh, so I was diagnosed at 10, and uh, when I was quite young, uh, my parents noticed that I started to not eat very much. I started to throw up, go to the washroom. I was extremely tired all the time. And we went to multiple doctors, uh, and they kind of were just like, oh, he's just not eating. It's just a phase. Like, it's OK. You know, he'll get over it. Um, finally, we went to one doctor and they said, take him to BC Children's. Mm -hmm. So we went there and I met this great team. Um, it was about three months and then I got diagnosed with Crohn's. It took them a while to figure it out. Crohn's, it's, it's extremely hard to diagnose because you have to go internally, right? You mm -hmm. can't, it's not like you can just take a blood test and, and then you get that, that result. Um, so I had multiple tests to find out what I had. Um, and from there, it was just kind of like, okay take a step back and try to figure out the disease. Um, so whether that be like from my eating to school, um, how I was going to deal with um, other situations, obviously outside of mm -hmm. home, mm -hmm. um, the washroom, let's say. Yeah. So there's a lot of different issues that arose from being 10. So it's, it's like I grew up quite You grew quickly. up with it, really? Yeah. Um, how does it limit your lifestyle in ways that an another person wouldn't have to deal with it? I mean, I would say that... Uh, in the back of your head, you're always thinking, what's going to be next? What's going to happen to me tomorrow? Right. Am I going to wake up with a pain? Am I going to wake up sick? Am I going to end up in the hospital next week? Am I going to have, you know, surgery in a month? Like, you're, you're always kind of stressing about what's going to happen next. Mm -hmm. And um, it's same with family as well. You know, family's always worried and, mm -hmm. and kind of like, what's going to happen? So. How close is there a cure? Is there a cure out there? No, there's not. There's not even a common theory of what causes right? Crohn's disease. Hereditary? Uh, no. They think possibly that's not, there's, there's some, there's some uh, genetic triggers and stuff, but they haven't determined exactly what. Mm -hmm. We are getting a lot closer to a cure, but it's, it's more treatments and stuff. They've, they've gone a lot better into the, the biologics, uh, the Humira, the, um, what's the Remicade. Remicade. Um, uh, before you weren't hit with that immediately, they tried a lot of other things, and now they're, they're um, assessing that early and giving you stronger dosages and trying to get it under control. Okay. So they're doing a really good job of, of managing the disease mm -hmm. a lot better than the past and hopefully we're around the corner for finding some, okay. something to cure. So drugs are there to manage, they're not there to solve no. at this point. Not at all. Hopefully one day, just like with so many things though, exactly. right? Definitely. Yeah. yeah. Let's hear about the facts and figures on this walk coming up June 5th. First of all, where is it? Uh, we're at uh, MacArthur Island Park. Uh, registration starts at 9 a.m. Uh, and the walk starts at, uh, at 9.30. Um, it's something that we, nationally, we make, uh, last year we raised over 3.4 million nationally and it's it's something that seem, we seem to increase every year mm -hmm. so it's been it's our our feature event every year right mm -hmm. it's a, it's been a great event for us and uh, gets gets us well on our way to meeting our goal of raising 30 million uh, over the next 10 years to help make it stop for life okay so if people would like to sign up they can go to gutsywalk.ca and yes. click on the Kamloops link probably yeah there's a you can type in locations and, and figure out where the the, Cam the Kamloops walk is it has all the information up there as well mm -hmm. and we also have a golf tournament this weekend up at Eagle Point mm -hmm. uh, it's the third annual golf for guts and uh, it's a hundred dollars and you get uh, your entry fee uh, power cart dinner and it's been a really fun event so far so you good golfer Kevin no. You're going to be up there? <laughs> you know what, those golf I probably tournaments... will, but I can't golf. <laughs> <laughs> They're about having fun. Don't worry exactly. about your game, right? It's, it's all exactly. good. It's a best ball tournament, too. There so you that's go. all about fun. That's right. Crack a beer and have some fun. You guys, exactly. thank you for being here today. Thank Thanks you. Thanks for having us. All right. Information on the screen if you would like to sign up for either the golf game this Saturday at Eagle Point or the walk on June the 5th. We're back in two minutes. Stay with us.